Hello everyone and welcome to the 43rd Cocoa Programming Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how we can use the NS Sharing Service and the NS Sharing Service Picker. And I'm going to keep it simple by just saying Picker and Service. So um, just for those of you who don't know, basically the NS Sharing Service Picker is uh, this nice thing here. If you hop over to Safari and click the Share button, you can see that this nice picker arrives. And uh, I should note that this tutorial is very specific to at least Mountain Lion or higher. So if you're not running Mountain Lion, you won't be able to do this tutorial. But on the bright side, if you're running Mountain Lion, it's a tutorial that only you can do. So um, anyway, this, as you can see, when you hit the Share button, this pick, picker appears uh, displaying a bunch of different options we have to share. So we can uh, use the first two are custom options that Safari gives. As you can tell, you wouldn't want to add to a bookmark or reading list if you were in basically any other application. So those are custom services implemented by Safari. And the bottom three, though, are all uh, just system-wide ones that you could, you know, email information. So if you had a text or image, you can email that to somebody. You can send somebody a message. You can send something to Twitter. And there's a bunch of other options that are available for uh, Mac OS as well that uh, like Facebook will be later and Flickr and I'm not even going to go through them but there's tons of options. So anyway that's um, what you can do. Now in this tutorial I'm simply going to be covering well mainly the picker uh, because it's kind of a complicated topic but uh, well it's not I'm going, to, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible as you well know but uh, if you want to branch out there's a good uh, Apple has a good source code project on sharing on the developer website. So if you want to check that out, uh, there's a good uh, tutorial that shows pretty much, or good source code that shows just about everything you can do uh, with this service. So anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and use or set up our interface here. So uh, we're just going to create a label and we'll throw in the top left. And I'll just say uh, the best sharing service ever. All right. That obviously is optional, but uh, I just thought I'd throw it up there because it's pretty amazing. So uh, the next part we're going to put on here is our button, and this is going to allow us to share information. So uh, the button, what we're going to do is delete the text on the button. I'm going to change the style to be the uh, round textured. And what we're going to do from here is just programmatically add that image uh, since it's a system image. And for whatever reason, it's not in Interface Builder yet, at least that I can tell. So um, we're going to, I'm going to show you how you can programmatically add that image to the button. So you might be asking still, what the heck are we creating this share service with? Well, we are going to be able to share text and we're going to be able to share an image. So the really cool thing about the sharing service, though, is that it does all the hard work for trying to figure out what services you can use, and of course, obviously, sharing, but um, it does all the thinking. You just have to provide it with the information that you have, and the APIs will figure out for you what you can do with the information that's given. So it really couldn't be any easier uh, than they give it, uh, or let you. Know, it's, it's pretty easy. So um, anyway, we'll uh, move on with this and we will add our text view. And the text view I know I haven't really used in any tutorial so far, but uh, we're just going to be getting the string basically that's uh, with this text view, nothing too complicated. And then we will get an image well, which is basically an image view. I'll drag it over there, drag it out there. And you can, you know, fiddle around with your interface. Make sure that your image view, you change the attribute to be editable, ed editable, no, editable. Not, we don't want to eat it, but we want it to be editable. And um, that will just allow you to drop the images in the image view. And so this is uh, the main setup here that we want to have for our interface. Now the next part, of course, is to actually set up all of the different uh, actions and things or properties for what we have. So we're going to open up the assistant editor here and we'll move some things out of the way. And so we're going to set up our button, our text view, and our image view to have our uh, properties. Now uh, I'm going to tr start transitioning in the tutorials to using a lot of private stuff. So we're not going to be using our header files for adding our IB outlets and all that stuff. I'm just going to be keeping that to uh, the private section, which is the implementation file. And this is just something that Apple's been using recently, and they're 
I think, trying to urge other people to keep stuff private. And basically, the simplest explanation I can give for this is that um, if you're creating a class and you're going to allow other people to use information that's in it, like a method or a property, put it in your header file. And that will explain that you can actually use those methods or those properties. If you're not going to allow anybody else to use the object or the method, just put it in your implementation. That's that's the simplest explanation I can give for uh, how this works. So what we're going to do if we want to add properties in our implementation file, we can just say at sign interface, and we're going to uh, create an interface and just uh, delegate. There we go. And that's just a class extension. And I covered this in the Objective C tutorials. If you haven't watched that, make sure you do. So anyway, um, the uh, class extension just allows us to add properties and methods to our implementation. And we'll just go ahead and drag out some uh, properties. So we'll drag, control drag from our button. And we'll call this the share button. And as you can see, it makes a nice little weak property over there. And uh, we want to get also the text view. So the text view is embedded in a scroll view. So to get to the text view, you got to select it once and then select it again, and that will get to the text view. Otherwise, you'll get the scroll view. You can tell because the type will say in a scroll view if you don't do it right. All right, so we want the name for this just to be text view, like so. And then we'll connect our image view as well. And this will just be our, as you can probably guess, image view. All right, so now we got all these nice properties in our uh, class extension there. And the last thing I want to do is add an IB action from our button. So we'll create an action and uh, we're going to call this our share to service IB action. There we go. All right, so now we have a nice new action and uh, we're ready to go. So I'm just going to switch back to the normal editor mode here and we'll go to our app delegate. And here we go. All right, so now that we have all this stuff right here, just put that out again just so we have more room. Anyway, um, so this is basically what we have for our file, and we want to set a few things up before we really get going. So like I said, that button that we have set up doesn't have the image that we want, and there's something else we have to do to it as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and set up a few things with this. So uh, in the spirit of kind of uh, future-proofing stuff for uh, where Apple is going. We're going to use properties now instead of using the instance variables, uh, but the instance variables are still can be used if you want just in your uh, private classes. If nothing's going to access them, you could still use instance variables just the same. But anyway, um, I'm going to be using properties probably for the tutorials from here on out. But anyway, uh, we're going to go self.share button and I will say set image and we'll say NS image image named and now we just want to get the image uh, we're going to get the name of the share image that Apple provides and the name for this is the NS image name share template so we just type that in that's basically just uh, some kind of constant string that Apple has provided that is equivalent to the share or the the image uh, the share image that you see in Safari. So that's uh, the name that you want to put in and that will give us the image for that. Now the other important thing that you have to do to the button, so let's just say self.share button, is you have to change the action so that it doesn't trigger when you release the button. So by default if you have a button the action is set when you click down and then release it on the button. That's the default but what we want to do when you're using the share service is you want to have it that when you press down on the button that's when the uh, action will be sent because we want as soon as we press down on the button we want to open up that panel so that's why uh, it's very specific and if you don't do this it'll actually complain as I found out so anyway um, you can play around with this if you don't believe me but anyway we want to send the action which is just uh, it'll be calling this share to service from our button so it's gonna send the action share to service on the NS left mouse down mask and that's what we want to type in. That just means whenever we press the left mouse down, then that's when the action is going to be sent. It's fairly self-explanatory. All right, so now comes the part where we configure our actual picker to appear. So the amazing thing about this API is it's very simple to use. We just have to tell the service or the, um, the picker basically what 
information we have and then from there the picker will determine what it can share so we just have to say well we have text we have an image or we just have text and then the share service can figure out well here you go here's your options so it's very simple and all we have to do is put all these options into an ns mutable array so ns mutable array share items we'll call it and we'll create an ns mutable array array with object and we'll just say self dot uh, what am I using? Text view, and we'll get the string from this. And now it's very important if you, you know, you're probably used to using the text fields by this point, and you might notice that I'm just using string, not string value. And string value is specific to the text field, but I only want to use this for the text view. And the text view, to get the string from the text view, you just use the string method. So just make sure you're not typing in string value when you're doing this. All right, the next part is to get the image. So to get the image, we just say ns, oh, not that, ns image, and I want to create my image, and I'm just going to get the image from the image view. So self dot uh, image view, and we'll get the image from the image view, and that will just get the image. Now, the before I add it to the array, though, I have to make sure that the image actually exists. I don't want to add a nil. Uh, ob, uh, we don't want to add nil to our array, so I'll just say if the image exists then we will add the image. So uh, to do that, we'll just say if image, then we will add the object to the array. So we'll say share items, add object, and we will add the image like that. So now our NS Mutable Array has the text from the text field, or the text view, sorry, and the image from our image view. And now we just have to basically tell the picker, here's the information, go with it. So we just create an, M an NS uh, goodness, sharing service picker, and we want to create the sharing picker. That's just going to be the name of our instance variable, and so we'll create an NS sharing service picker, allocate that, and we'll init with the items. So we'll just init, init with the share items. And there we go. So that's all you have to do. You add the items that you got from above to the sharing service picker. And now it knows, hey, here we go. This is what information I'm going to fly with. And I misspelled picker there. There we go. OK, so anyway, uh, from here, all I want to do is also set the delegate up for the sharing service picker, because the sharing service picker and the sharing service have delegates. So uh, to set this up, all I have to do is say sharing sharing picker dot delegate gets and then I'm going to set myself to be the delegate so it's very obvious that you know we've worked with delegates before and I already did a delegate tutorial we're basically saying that for any questions that or anything that the sharing picker has to ask for, with, via the delegate it's just going to go to us because we're going to be the delegate for the sharing picker and it's complaining because I haven't uh, done something yet, but just go with it for now. The last part for this uh, action is simply to display the picker. So to do this, I just say sharing picker, show relative to rect. So I just say wherever our button is located, basically. So I want to say self dot share button, and I'm going to get the bounds of the button. And then uh, if you're giving the bounds though, you want to say where the view is. And the bounds just means that the origin uh, for the rectangle is zero, and then it gives the width and the height of uh, the, the share button. And so I'm going to have to specify though what view this is in, and the view is my self.share button. And the preferred edge is going to be the NS max y edge. And you can pick NS min y edge, NS max or min x edge as well. It's just whatever you want to pick. So uh, experiment with that, and there we go. So now the hardest part comes though, where we have to work with some delegates. So uh, it's not all that confusing, but at the same time, it's a little more confusing than your average delegate because we have to work with two of them to get uh, the desired behavior that I'm looking for here. So um, basically, uh, I could actually go ahead and I'll just go ahead and run what we have here. And you'll see how this works. And um, I'll leave that. It doesn't really matter. But um, anyway, we'll just leave it. So uh, we'll go ahead and run this, even though it's warning. I know it's warning me, but we'll just show uh, what we have so far. And you'll see that we actually have a pretty good product already. So if I want to say hello, and then I'll quickly add an image here. So, doop, doop. and I actually already have a nice screenshot. There we go. 
add that in like so and I'll share it and as you can see I have all these different options for sharing like an email message airdrop it Twitter and Flickr so that's pretty neat I got all these different options now I'll also show you if I get rid of the picture you'll see that my options actually go down I don't have airdrop anymore and I don't have Flickr that's just because I got rid of the um, I got rid of my picture so then my options obviously went down and so it's pretty neat and if I hit Twitter you'll see that I get a tweet sheet right here and I can send whatever I want off and I'll just show you what it looks like if you have the picture as well it's a pretty neat little animation say Twitter and it'll attach uh, the photo like that now um, the actual uh, the actual nice animation I guess only happens when which I'm about to show you but uh, we also want this to almost be sort of modal in our application and so you can get a nice little darkening effect around the window that you have here with the tweet sheet right in the middle and I'm going to show you how to do that in the next step so go ahead and quit out of this and what we want to do is flip over to our if you uh, don't know how to do this you can just go to your app delegate h right here and we want to be uh, able to be the delegate for the ns sharing service delegate and the ns sharing sharing service picker delegate there we go and so these two delegates uh, we're going to use one method from each but really it's almost one method that i'm really using i'll explain this in just a second but you can look at these two delegates by holding down the option key and then going to the uh, protocol reference right there so if you want to look at some other methods that are available in both of these feel free to look those up but anyway back over in our implementation section there's one there's two different um methods I'm going to implement here. So I'm just going to make a nice progma mark and this is going to be our uh, sharing service picker delegate methods. And if you're curious what, why I did that, you can see that if you look in the jump bar, it actually uh, will display your pragma marks right there. So it's kind of a nice way of separating methods out. That's the only reason I'm making it. But anyway, uh, the method that I want to add from the service picker delegate is the, uh, basically it's a delegate to get to another delegate. So I'll explain that in just a second, but what it is, it's called the sharing service picker delegate for sharing service. So it's kind of a fairly long-winded as most, most delegate methods are. But basically what this method does is it gets a delegate for the sharing service. So I already set up the delegate right, uh, now all my codes, let me minimize that. You can see that my delegate is already set up for the sharing picker. And so whenever the picker is ready to go, it's going to actually ask us uh, with this method right here for the delegate for the sharing service. So um, you'll let me just realign this so it's actually nicer looking there. You can see that this method basically what it's going to ask for is a delegate for the sharing service. We already have the delegate set up for the picker, but it wants to know who's going to be the delegate for the sharing service. So I know it's kind of confusing, but all we're going to say is, well, return self. So like I said, the picker and the sh service are kind of related, and this is just an example of that. This delegate method will be uh, called from our sharing picker, and it's just going to ask who's going to be the delegate for the sharing service. Now the sharing service, when the tweet sheet goes up or something like that, it's going to ask us for another method. So I'm going to show you that one right here. So uh, copy and paste, and there we go. Now the next delegate method that I'm going to show you is the one that will actually give us, uh, we just have to return the window that we're in, and that will actually give us a nice darkening effect around the tweet sheet or whatever we're using, and uh, it'll, I'll, I'll, it'll just show you in a bit. So anyway, uh, what we want to use for this is the sharing service, and uh, the one that we want is this method right here. It's Let me just nicely align it for you so you can see what it even says. It's the sharing service source window for share items, sharing content scope. Basically what this does is it just asks, usually you can tell from the return type, it's really just asking for the window that the sharing service is being activated in, which is just the window that we're in. So to do that, we can just say return self, and since we're in the app delegate class, we have the window outlet, so we can just say self.window. And uh, you can see that by right here in our header file. You can see we have the property already for our window. So anyway, we can just return the self.window, and that will tell us what window we're in. So the whole reason I just did this is 
I'll start from the very beginning. We got a sharing picker delegate. I set myself to be the delegate for the picker. The picker then asks when it goes to activate a tweet sheet or something like that, what's going to be the delegate for the sharing service? And I'm going to say, well, I guess I'll, I'll do that too. And then basically the sharing service will go out and it'll say, okay, which window are you in? And if we actually uh, answer to this method right here, if I specify what window this was activated in, then it will have a nice darkening effect. Uh, it'll kind of fade everything else around the tweet sheet and the tweet sheet will be nice and centered in my window. So you can see this if I just go ahead and uh, let me add some text. Uh, this is a test. And then I'll add that nice image and add that and then we'll send this to Twitter and maybe you guys will see this on Twitter but anyway this is a test and as you, as you can see it has that nice really nice effect right there so I can just say Twitter ooh look at that nice animation and then I didn't want to do that let me go back to there and all I want to do now is just hit send if I want to send this out and it should eventually go here and makes a nice little Twitter noise and there we go there's my tweet sheet sent off into outer space so there we go that is basically all I want to show you for the sharing service and there's much more you can do like making your own custom services to be displayed in the sharing picker and a bunch of other things but I just don't have time in this tutorial uh, to explain that but anyway I hope you understood everything that I did in this tutorial you just provide the picker with the information that you have it figures out what services you can use and then if you want to have that nice darkening effect you got to use these two delegate methods to get that as well but anyway, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions in the comments below. And I might even have another tutorial on this explaining more on the sharing service. But anyway, for now, uh, I'll see you in another Cocoa tutorial.